Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm really excited about today's video because it is going to be the first video in my new Valentine's series. Um, so yeah, let's just get right into it. I'm going to show you guys how to create these beautiful um, cupids, arrow embellishments. This is the front and this is the back. They're so gorgeous. So let me just go ahead and get right into it and show you guys how I created this arrow. It is so simple. So what you're going to need is your choice of paper. I used this heart design paper that um, I hauled from Michaels. You're going to need straws. I'll be using these straws from the Dollar Tree. And you'll be able to make two out of one straw. You will need your choice of adhesive. I'm going to be using hot glue for the sake of the video. You will need punches. You guys don't need punches. Um, I'm just going to be using it. I'm just going to show you guys how I did this. You guys can always, of course... Um, use what you have. If you don't have a heart punch, you can cut out two hearts. Um, you can do whatever fancies you. But I use a scallop punch, and I'm also going to be using this banner punch. What else will we need? I'm going to be using this lace ribbon. And I might use this decorative trim that I hauled from Hobby Lobby uh, sometime last year I think it was I'm gonna be using some twine you'll need your scissors and last but not least well this is not last you will need some um, gems some type of wet adhesive I'm gonna be using this three in one but you can also use really any type of wet glue would work well for the glittering part and then you're gonna need glitter so I'll be using this iridescent glitter that I hauled a long time ago from Walmart all right so let's just go ahead and jump into this tutorial guys so what you need to do is punch out two Heart shapes. So I'm gonna go ahead and punch those out. There's one, two, and I like to get like the most of my paper, so I try to punch really close. And then with this punch, we are going. I'm actually, we're going to trim this down anyways because this thing is huge. So, I'm just going to go ahead and punch out two of these banners, flags, whatever you want to call it. Alright. And as you can see, the bottoms are different. Well, they don't look that different, but it doesn't matter. As long as they're both the same size, and I'm going to go ahead and turn this around and trim it if I need to. Just like that. And if you guys don't have this punch, you can definitely make uh, do this freehand. And I'll show you how to do that after we make this one. I'll show you guys some alternatives in case you don't have if you don't own punches or whatever the case may be all right so we have our punches now we're gonna take our straw and I'm actually going to make a red one since I already have a couple pink ones sorry guys I have stuff everywhere on my desk so what we're gonna do with the straw is we're gonna try to cut it in half and I'm just gonna go ahead and eyeball it and I'm gonna flatten the tip the tips of both sides 
it just helps with the gluing process. All right. So what we're gonna do to make the tip of our band of our arrow is we are going to glue our heart punch with the tip part pointing outward. Okay, you guys can do it like this if you want, but I like the look of this. It looks more like an arrow to me. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead with our hot glue and we have to be quick with this, guys. You guys know how it is with hot glue. So I'm gonna make sure that I get some in the middle here and then also on the end. I'm gonna go ahead and lay that down quickly. And I'm gonna quickly try to line up my heart as best as I can. I'm gonna press it down here a little and you can go ahead and push the straw in more if you like, adjust it to your liking. All right, and there we have our tip. That simple, guys. Now for this end, You guys can adjust this to how tall or short you want. Like if this was too long, if you felt like this was too long, you could trim that down a little more. So I'm gonna go ahead and flatten this and I'm gonna repeat the same step here. Just gonna apply that hot glue. Be careful you don't go too close to the edge. You don't wanna burn yourself. I'm gonna place that straw and I'm gonna try to quickly line up the other paper. Ooh, this stuff is hot. Be very careful, I put way too much on that one. And then you can adjust your straw. I like to put the straw in low at first, and then I'll, I will push it up as needed. You guys can definitely use wet glue for this. It probably will work better. But once again, for the sake of this video, I'm gonna be using hot glue because it's a little faster. So there we have our basic arrow, okay? Next, we're gonna take some trim. And since I'm using, on this one I put the lace, and this is the lace from Dollar Tree. But since I'm doing red, I'm gonna try this lace. So all I'm gonna do is put a little dab of glue here. And I'm going to carefully wrap some of this trim around. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this. I'm just gonna wrap that around and secure it with a little more glue, like so. Okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and fringe our sides. And how we'll do that is just use some scissors and just very carefully that you don't go in the middle. You don't go too close to the straw. Just cut. And of course, you don't have to do this step. You can leave it the way that it is, but I like how it looks. So I'm going to add it. Just like that. Okay. So all we're gonna do now is just further embellish this. You can stop there, but I want to further embellish it. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my twine. Well, actually, let's go ahead and glitter this first. So I have some of my glitter in a little container from the Dollar Tree. 
and I'm gonna go ahead with my wet glue and I'm gonna go ahead and add a line here and just kind of scatter it like so and this drew is, this glue is pretty quick drying so I want to be a little quick I'm just gonna go ahead and dip it in that glitter tap off the excess and there's my top look at how beautiful that is and I'm gonna do the same to the bottom um, I'm not gonna put glue all the way to the tip I'm just gonna kind of outline it as best eyeball it and I want outline it as best as I can so just following that heart shape leaving some on the edge open I'm gonna apply my glue and once again get it really covered in that glitter this container works perfect for this all right, and I'm shaking off the excess. Look at how beautiful that glitter looks on there. Okay. So I will go ahead and we'll tie our little bow on here. So I'm just going to use this twine. This is some twine from the Dollar Tree also. You guys know I'm obsessed with Dollar Tree. Why pay more when you could pay less? <laughs> sometimes it's a little tricky I just I don't know why I'm just like paranoid about wasting things but I'm just going to try to tie it as best I can on the edge on the ends so I don't waste so much and you guys just keep playing with it until you get the bow that you like if you want to make your ears bigger or smaller just keep adjusting and pulling at it and the same for your tail I say it's better to start off a little longer than shorter because you can always trim it so there's that and I'm gonna go ahead and glue that there so I'm gonna put a tiny little dab of glue and I'm gonna adhere that there there you have it I'm happy with those tails I don't think I'm gonna trim it you can even adjust it a little bit more by pulling down at the strings before it dries all the way okay I like that and then you can add a bling here if you want you can add a bling here whatever you choose to do I'm gonna go ahead and use this pink sticker gems from the Dollar Tree sometimes you have to because they are stuck together sometimes you just have to pull that apart so I'm gonna add a teeny bit of glue and I'm just gonna stick that there and of course you can use whatever color use whatever you have in your stash And there we have it guys I'm actually gonna trim some of that tail and there we have it my right, pretty little bow and arrow well arrow and there's the pink they are so adorable guys okay so let me show you guys some alternatives that you can use you guys don't have to use punches I actually bought um, these felt stickers from the Dollar Tree they're already embellished and I made some here and all I did they already have like a sticker so I stuck two back to back which I kind of felt like was a waste I don't want to feel like I'm wasting too many of these so I decided to do another and I backed it with paper. 
So those are just some alternatives. Um, what's another alternative? I tried to do some with some crepe paper. And then these are the two once again. And then this is just by using regular um, cardstock that's not printed. So you can definitely do it this way also. So those are just some alternatives for you guys. Um, let's go ahead and let's try to freehand one. For those of you who don't have punches or whatnot. Um, so I'm going to grab some cardstock. So here's some cardstock. I'm going to go ahead and you guys know how to do your basic card. You fold it in half. Let's grab a pencil. You sketch out the shape of a heart. And I would even use this, use maybe cardboard to make yourself a stencil if you don't have any punches. And that way you can continue to trace this and you'll get the same size heart every time. We could even go a step further and make another one in white a little smaller so that we can layer it. Where is my white scraps? Here goes some white scrap paper. So I'm just going to cut out a smaller heart. Let's try that. So just see how that layers. I think I like that. So I'll go ahead and cut out another heart for the back. And guys, you can, like I said, trace a bunch of them and just go to town and cut all of them at once. So you can just do a nice assembly line and make a bunch of these quickly. Alright, so there's our two hearts. We'll use this one on the back side of this little tour. And then we're going to go ahead and make our top. some more scrap paper I wasn't planning on doing this on camera so mm. so this is the shape that we're looking for just like that Okay, fold, it's folded in half, so it'll be like that. And this one's a lot shorter. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut out another one. I'll just use this white paper since it's going to be on the back. But of course, you guys would um, try to use the same paper. Or not, whatever works for you. So we're going to do the exact same thing. Grab our straw, flatten the tips. I'm going to start off with my heart. Apply the hot glue. Press that in there and quickly cut 
cover that with the other heart. And then you can adjust your straw. Keep putting too much glue. There we go. And I actually did this upside down, guys. We're supposed to do the pointed tip to the top, but that's fine. You'll see how it looks if you do it this way. No, I don't like how that looks, so I'm going to go ahead and try to get that in there before it dries out fully. There we go. There we go. So make sure you do the tip. This looks better to me, in my opinion. Alright, and then I'm going to go ahead and layer this white one here. See how pretty that looks layered? Very cute. Now we're going to add our top of our arrow. Let me see if I want to do the white in the front or the pink. I think I'll go with the pink on top. Alright, so we're going to do the same thing. Apply our glue. And quickly before it dries, add our top layering piece. Or our top. I don't know what it is. It's like whenever I record, guys, I just get so tongue tied. So there we are. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut my little fringes. On both sides and we will go ahead and add our lace this time where did my lace go Go. I love this lace from Dollar Tree. It's come in handy in so many different projects. I think that this is a must have. I've used it for almost every season so far. <coughs> so I'll go ahead and place that there carefully with the hot glue, guys. And just continue to roll it around. I probably use a little too much, but that's fine. Add a little more glue to close it off. There we go. And before we add our bow, I'm going to go ahead and glitter this. So I'm leaving a little of that white showing on the edges. Get it covered with that glitter. Just tap off the excess. Look at how pretty. And the same with the top. You guys can put as much or as less glitter as you like. And I will just glitter the front because I don't think that you'll really be seeing the back. Depending on how you use these. Look at how beautiful and sparkly. And we did not use any punches, guys. Just our scissors and some paper. 
And then I'm going to go ahead and tie a ribbon with a pink. Since we're making a pink one. Just try to make sure that these two ears are the same. And then you can go ahead, try to measure these so that they're the same length. I just don't like to waste anything. There we are, and I'm just gonna go ahead and glue that here. And I will glue this one on the top, because I really wanna show, I want that lace to show. Hold it down to let it dry and adhere all the way. And there you go. Let's go ahead and add a rhinestone. So as you can see, these have like their strip, their strips. So I just pull one off and it usually comes. Sometimes there's some of that sticky stuff, that sticky line. You can just pull it off with your fingers or trim it with, can you guys see that? Trim it with your scissors. Just keep in mind that it's there sometimes. I'm gonna add a little dab of blue. Carefully place it there. And look at how pretty guys all right so i hope that you guys enjoy this tutorial once again this is with the plain paper this is with the um pattern paper you can use stickers you guys can really go crazy and embellish these however you like but i hope that you guys found this tutorial to be helpful i hope that it inspires you um, if you decide to make some of these, if, you know, my tutorial inspire you to make some, please tag me on social media. Instagram is poochie underscore tats. And yeah, guys, I can't wait to come back with my next video in the series. And I love you guys, and I'll see you next time. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of these videos. Talk to you guys later. Bye.